Have nearly six years after a local high school student died, after repeatedly calling 911 for help, his family is getting an update on the improvements the city of Cincinnati promised to make. So Kyle Plush's family sued in 2021 and settled with the city for $6 million. As part of that settlement, the city is also investing $250,000 in upgrades to its 911 call center. Mike Shell sat in on that hearing today at City Hall, and he's live with the very latest. Mike? Yeah, true. 16-year-old Kyle Plush died of asphyxia due to chest compression in 2018 uh, when he became pinned by a folding bench seat in the back of his family's minivan. Now, the Plush family has made it their mission to, in their words, make sure this never happens to another family. Since their son's death, Ron and Joe Plush have been active in monitoring the progress made at the city's emergency communication center. We entered into that settlement agreement in honor of Kyle. He was a problem solver. Kyle Plush became trapped in the back of his family's vehicle, which was parked at Seven Hills High School. He called 911 twice for help and gave his location and a description of the vehicle. Cincinnati police officers were in the area but could not locate the minivan because critical information was not passed on. Hours later, Kyle was found by his father. Our condolences and prayers are always with you. I, I know the pain never goes away. Um, you know, it's really tough and, um, you know, I'm part of the Seven Hills family too. Thank you for your commitment in funding the ECC um, because really without the funding, you know, they wouldn't be able to have made the progress that they've made. The Emergency Communications Center answers more than 700,000 calls per year. Last summer, the ECC installed a system which trains 911 call takers. It helps them to identify and classify emergency calls in order to obtain vital information more quickly and to dispatch the appropriate response team. As I told uh, Mr. and Mrs. Plush yesterday, uh, out of this terrible tragedy, history was changed uh, for us as an organization. It's a complete 180. Um, where the center is today versus where it was during cost tragedy, is, it's a, just a totally different operation. And you know, one of the things we mentioned in the, in the meeting today was that we wanted not only to see the improvements in Cincinnati's 911 center, so another family like ours wouldn't have to go through a tragedy. Now the upgrades to the 911 call center are entering a fourth year of a five-year deal under the settlement with the Plush family. I spoke with the ECC director today. He told me that it is an incumbent upon the city to extend that commitment beyond what was already agreed to. Reporting live downtown, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.